I think so many people, myself included, are sleeping on this one feature inside of perplexity that's going to save you a ridiculous amount of time, especially for things that you routinely research. All right, I'm going to give you a very quick five-minute overview of Perplexity's collections and why I think you should be using it and how it can grow your company. All right, let's dive in. But real quick, if you're new here, my name is Jordan. I'm the founder of Everyday AI. We're an AI media and consulting company with a daily live stream podcast and newsletter helping us grow our companies with AI. So we do this thing called AI and Five, which is a quick five minute tip or tutorial on how to use a certain piece of AI to grow our companies. So if that's you, thanks for joining us. Make sure to subscribe and let me know what you think of this video and what you want to see next. All right, so this is an example of collections. So if I'm being honest, I don't know why, right? I've been a, a subscriber for Perplexity for a very long time, and I don't know why I haven't been, and our team has been using this feature a lot more. So uh, I knew about it, obviously. Uh, and we did a deeper show on uh, Perplexity last week uh, on the Everyday AI show. So I'll link to that. But one of the things I talked about was uh, collections. And I think what it is actually is, you know, once GPTs came out from OpenAI and once projects came out from Claude, you know, I kind of stopped going or stopped thinking about collections. But I'm going to get back to it. And here's why. So let me just quickly show you what a collections is. All right. So there's threads pages and collections inside of Claude's Anthropic. All right. So uh, you can also get limited access to this, even if you're on a free plan. But obviously, if you are on a paid plan, uh, you have many more features and uh, better limits. Uh, so let me just give you an example of what a collection can do, and then I'll kind of show you how to build it. It's pretty simple. All right. So I'm going to go to this one uh, that's called AI News Recaps. So all I literally have to do in this one, and hopefully it works here live. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. I'm going to say though, July 15th. All right. All I'm really putting in is one phrase, AI news, July 15th, 2024. Now, if I were to do that in a normal perplexity thread, uh, or a chat, it would just I don't know what it would give me. Well, I mean, we'll actually do a, we'll actually do a little test here and to see what it does. Uh, let's, let's actually do that live, right? Yeah. These are live. These are unedited y'all. So, um, you know, there's no high production value here. We're just learning together unedited, unscripted, but I'll show you what that brings up in a normal perplexity search. It'll probably still bring me up, uh, some, some pretty good things. Okay. So pretty good, but I know I'm looking at this. A lot of these things are not, uh, are not from today, right? Uh, they're not, I'm reading them through. All right. So these, these are, I'm looking at these, these for the most part are, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and type one more thing. I'm going to say, please finish all 12. Then I'll show you exactly what this is doing. All right. So this is a great way. If you do the same research tasks over and over, maybe it's competitive research, maybe it's industry news, maybe it's trends in your niche, maybe it's trying to understand what's going to be uh, you know, impacting your business. And you find yourself doing the same tasks on the internet over and over again. All right, so collections is actually a great way to do this. So let's just go ahead and look. Uh, at my results here. So pretty good. So one thing that I do every single day, I read the AI news on the podcast, right? Uh, kind of the three biggest stories of the day. And I generally go to Google, uh, or traditionally I would go to Google search. I would go to Bing search. I might go to MSN. I might go to Yahoo. The reason being is even open AI, which I love and their improved browse with Bing, which I love using custom GPTs. It still struggles bringing up uh, dates that are fresh news that is absolutely fresh, right? Like minutes old, it might bring in things from two, three, four days. And a lot of people, you know, think that this is maybe a bias of a, of a Google Gemini or of an open AI. And it's like, no, you know, a lot of these, uh, the way they're set up, they're not meant to get you the most up-to-date information, right? But perplexity, that's what it's great at, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and look at this. Uh, the results here. The results are great. So instead of me having to spend a lot of time reading AI news, I can just start my day here. So let's take a look at this collection and what exactly it does. All right, so again, I started this out by saying there's threads, pages, and collections, okay? 
Threads are just your general chat. Pages, you can turn a thread into essentially a public URL. And then a collection is you can apply a thread with a specific set of rules. So let's go ahead and see what that is. So here's this one that I just showed you. And it says right here, AI prompt applied. So I can go ahead, click edit. Okay. So the downside, this is only, you only get 2000 characters. However, think of this as like a custom instructions or like a simple version of a GPT or projects inside of Cloud Anthropic, right? Uh, so the downside of putting this in your profile in perplexity is it would apply it to every single chat but I probably wouldn't want this to be applied to every single chat. So collections, it is essentially a way to have a set of custom instructions apply only to new threads uh, within that kind of folder. So think of it of putting different files in a folder and the folder has certain permissions or certain instructions, all right? So you'll see here, I'm giving very, whoops, uh, I'm giving very specific instructions uh, in this AI prompt. So essentially I'm applying a prompt to any single, uh, new thread that I start. So that's why I only had to put the date and nothing else. And it spit it out exactly how I wanted it. Right. So I went through, I gave it a lot of information. I gave it an example. You should always be giving it an example. And then I'm telling it what to do. So essentially all I have to do, I go in here, I put the date, it knows, Oh, I need to apply these sets of rules to this and it's going to spit it out in a way that really helps me. So I think uh, using collections is a great way uh, to go ahead and do this. And the easiest way to do this is you just go up here, click this new collection button, give it a title, an emoji, a description, and then the AI prompt. So again, only 2000 characters, which is a downside uh, because custom GPTs and uh, Claude's uh, Anthropics projects, you get much more to work with. Uh, however, it's still great because where perplexity shines is getting up-to-date information from the internet and being able to go uh, to more than a dozen web pages at once. All right. I hope this was helpful. If so, please Go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter. Let me know what you want to see next, but you should go check out uh, collections from Perplexity. It's going to save you so much time.